talking. I literally feel like I'm upside down. Yeah. No. Literally. <laughs> literally? Oh my goodness. <laughs> First snow of the year. Morning. I am really excited today because a big box arrived at our front doorstep that I have been waiting for. Anyway, it is from Thread Up, and Thread Up is sponsoring our video today, and they are an online consignment store. So it's secondhand clothing, great brands that you get at great deals. With my little tummy getting bigger by the day, I feel like my wardrobe is dwindling. I'm down to like these certain five shirts that I can actually wear, so I'm excited to get some new clothes. Look how cute this is, it looks like a present. Your new I know, look how pretty that is. And look, it's got a cute little tag. Yeah. Who's that one for? Oh, me. It fits me. Who's this? Cinderella. Have courage and be kind. <laughs> this is the one I'm most excited about. It's some boots. <gasps> Here's the shirt you picked out. So this Nike shirt would normally be $32 new, but we got it in this like new condition for $11.99. Score. Their website and their app are really easy to use. You can even like plug in what your sizes are so it only shows you things that are your size. You can shop by specific brands. I love that. Yep, it's the one you got to pick out. You wanna try it on? Isn't that soft? Mm -hmm. I like this one, it looks really good. Well, I love this shirt, but it looks a little big on you, and so I think we can return it. Get you something else. I love that ThreadUp has free returns. So literally, you can try it on, and if it doesn't work, there's no pressure. You can just put it back and return it. I really like this one. It makes me feel beautiful, and as a pregnant person, that's sometimes hard to find. I don't know if I'm wearing it right, though. Like, it feels a little bit like wings. What do you guys think? Is this too much for me? So are you supposed to bunch it up more like a vest? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I it goes around your head, like you tie it. <laughs> All right, this is a Jessica Simpson maternity top, and it is usually $72, and we got it for $18. Well, I'm really sad because I absolutely love these boots, and they don't fit. They're too big. I'm gonna have to return them. These are Liz Lang maternity jeans. They're usually $72, and I got them for $18.99. So I know my grandma used to tell me, like, you can't wear white after Labor Day. Is that still a thing? If you're wanting to clean out your closet of the stuff that you just don't wear anymore, you go onto threadup.com and you order a clean out bag. You send it to them and they take care of it. All right, time for a poll. We are going to pick out our five favorite things from this ThreadUp haul and put them up here and you can let us know which one was your favorite. The kids had their items, I had mine. I felt a little bit weird like trying on everything though. Like, I'm not a model at all. I didn't know what to do with my hands the whole time. Like, I'm like, hi, I'm just, trying this on. If you're interested in trying it out, definitely click on the link below and use our coupon code. It's J40, so you get 40% off of your first order. Go over there, check it out, see what you're interested in. There's all sorts of beautiful things. So Isaac is getting a cavity fixed today. It's his first time to have that happen. The fresh air, okay? Here in just a second, so we'll come in and turn on that nitrous oxide, which we like to call silly air, to make you feel really relaxed. <laughs> what are you laughing about? It just, it feels like it's tickling me, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> is my nose still in here? What do you think? Does it not feel like it? Mm. Um, yeah, it doesn't. It feels so weird. So the other thing about this gas is it makes you tell the truth. Really? So who's your favorite parent, mom or dad? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. It was a Smart. joke. It was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac on laughing gas. To me, it just feels like it feels kind of normal to me, but a little bit weird. But a little bit weird. You just don't feel like you have a nose anymore. Basically, <laughs> I feel like I have a weird nose instead. <laughs> like a, a pink nose? Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I can't feel it at all. Okay, Isaac, do you think it's working? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's good, <laughs> for Mr. Sure. Isaac. Am I upside down? <laughs> no, but you're not. <laughs> 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 Were you snorting, Larry? Oh, no <laughs> snorting, that's against the rules, Isaac. <laughs> Have like a little that picky nose on. <laughs> hey, Mr. Isaac, this is a slobber blocker. Are you Mr. Giggles? Job. You are Mr. Giggles. <laughs> they do call this stuff laughing gas, yep. you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he might start. He might. Yeah. Like you're floating now? Yeah. He might quit, he might quit he brushing so he can have more. I know. I felt like I was floating on the ceiling. Floating on the ceiling? Whoa. Whoa. I literally feel like I'm upside down. Yeah. Literally. Literally? literally. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Almost such done. Such a good job. Are you going to be sad when we turn off the nitrous? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. They turned it off. Are you starting to fill your face again? We got to sober you up. Yeah. Start to fill your nose again. <laughs> um, he didn't think his nose was attached. Oh, he did it. No. <laughs> Bye, yeah. Isaac. Oh, yeah. Don't pick yeah. your nose. I have you just sit though, okay? So we get everything back to normal. I don't feel much weird. You don't feel much weird? <laughs> but I still feel weird. That's why we're going to have you sit for a second, honey. I kind of want a cavity again. Well, if you just don't brush your teeth, you might get what you want. I want a small one. Yeah, just a little eensy one? Yeah, like the one I just had. Okay. How about this? If you get another cavity, we'll make you pay for it. Okay, I'm not. Deal. Did it hurt? Um, not much. Did it make a hole in your tooth? I don't know. So, first... She put this weird thing on my nose. It was bubblegum flavored, so it smelled good. I felt like I started going upside down like, and floating in the air, like my head's right there and my feet are up there. It felt so weird. And I started just randomly laughing. <laughs> it, because it felt so weird. Were you floating? No, not in real life, but I felt like I was. What's going on out there, guys? It's snowing! First snow of the year. Yeah, is it happening right now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Kendra invented this cool lunch. What is this? What, what did you put on it? There's bagels and ranch and spinach and cheese and toppings. I don't know. We had a lot of bagels to use. Do you like it, Laura? Mm-hmm. There it is. I want to go play out there. Can we give us snow to some? Not yet. Let's let there get some more snow, okay? Yeah, so then we can actually make a snowman. It has to be, get big snow out. Get your snow stuff on. Let's yeah. go out and play in it. Yeah. While the kids and Jeremy are out playing in the snow, I'm making them some hot chocolate and I'm getting dinner ready. I started the hot chocolate with coconut milk. I think that's gonna be really yummy. <laughs> Your glasses. There you go. I grew up in Arizona where it didn't snow. And then as I got older, I moved to places where it did snow and I hated it. But now I kind of like it. I prefer it even. I think it's fun that there's the different seasons. How about you? If you could choose, would you want to live in a place where it snows or doesn't snow? Let us know in the poll. <laughs> How was playing outside? Um, I see snowballs. You, you saw some snowballs? snowballs? That's exciting. Was it cold out there? Yeah, with my gloves on. They were so snowy. Did you see what I made? Chocolate. Did I make hot chocolate? Yeah, hot do you, chocolate. Do you like hot chocolate? Yeah, but I want it this cold. You like it cold? 
Okay, I won't make it too hot for you. So I made a lot of snowballs and whenever I throw them on the wall, it sticks. <laughs> it stuck to it? That's funny. So we're trying something new for dinner tonight. At least the kids and I are trying something new. Jeremy's had it before, but we're gonna eat pierogies. This is apparently a Canadian dish, and Jeremy actually lived in Canada for a couple years, but I've never tried pierogies, and I've wanted to like look up a recipe and make it from scratch, but I've always been a little bit overwhelmed by it, and so when I saw the frozen pierogies at the grocery store yesterday, I was like, awesome, let's do this. Whole question, have you ever heard of or eaten pierogies? Let us know. You know that and Thanks for helping, Caleb. Don't fall down the stairs. That's against the rules. Is this ravioli or dumplings? They're called pierogies. Daddy ate them when he lived in Canada. Well, I actually really like the pierogies, and I'm also really grateful because my family's being really great sports. When I baked the rolls, I burnt them on the bottom, and there was a minute where I was like, man, should I just throw these away? And Jeremy was like, no way. Like, our kids need to learn how to eat this stuff. So show them the bottom. It's actually not that bad. Yeah. yeah, it's delicious. Well, thanks for being so good, good sports, everybody. As a mom trying to time everything, burning dinner, it sometimes just happens. Well, we just finished reading books and singing carols by the Christmas tree, and now we're tucking everybody into bed and hoping they go to sleep. Good night, Jay has that. I had the worst dream last night. It's so beautiful.